Hello, Karen. You're in Tanzania. How wonderful to hear from you. I hope it's a marvelous day wherever you are in Tanzania. You say, what is going to happen to his tusks after he dies? Will someone collect them? Depends whether they know where he dies. You know, when these elephants die, they're often in, they're down by rivers where it's difficult to, uh, well, I mean, you know, where they're, they're hiding away, basically, when they die, they starve to death. Sometimes their tusks just get lost. And so if he's found when he's dead, then absolutely the tusks will be collected and put in a stockpile, which will hopefully be burned. He is just magnificent. <laughs> so we, we saw that elephant bull this morning. He was about 10 feet tall, probably weighed about five and a half tons. This guy is at least 10 years older, I would say. His tusks are much bigger. That's a genetic thing, though. I mean, the tusks of that other fellow are never going to be this big, I don't think. Let me just back up a little bit more. And I reckon this guy's probably another half ton heavier. He's going straight towards those kudu. That's interesting. Sandy, you say that you saw an elephant with no tusks at the dam cam just now, and you want to know how that is or why that is. It's just genetic, Sandy, in the same way that some people are big and some people are small. You know, those big tusks don't necessarily advantage that elephant, and so an elephant is perfectly capable of surviving without tusks, but it does help them with defense and it does help them when they are in the middle of fighting with each other. Go ahead, Brent.